assalamu alaikum dear students today we will discuss about properties of metals long question 7 of exercise and it has first paragraph and it has two headings in it the metallic bond first of first heading is definition the metallic bond is defined as the bond formed between metal atoms due to mobile or free electrons listening us its four type of chemical bond its fourth type of chemical bond and it is special type of bonding which is very different from ionic covalent and coordinate covalent bonding because it exist between metal atoms for example if we if we have a piece of sodium metal and any other metal sodium magnesium aluminum in this piece of metal metal atoms combine with each other with a special pattern and special movement of electrons and uh, this is the main reason this type of bonding is different from the other but type of bondings because in other types of bondings different atom from the different atoms or same type of atoms will be involved but in this type of bonding metal atoms inside the metal atoms and uh, in, uh, inside the metal atoms will combine with each other due to mobile or free electrons and uh, this special type of bonding determine the properties of metals due to these type of bond special type of bond metallic bond metals show different properties for example good conduction of heat and electricity hard heavy in nature and uh, high melting and boiling point all these properties of metals suggest that it has special type of bonding which may be somewhat ionic uh, somewhat uh, mobile due to mobile or free electrons so what does it mean and what are mobile or free electrons and what are ma- metal atoms positively charged ions here it is the example each metal atom gives up its valence electrons to form positive ion in the piece of metal at metal ion, metals piece of metal sodium magnesium aluminum copper any piece of metal inside the piece of metal because we know that it is made up same type of atom so these same type of atoms how they will combine with each other and how they attract with each other and uh, to in a rigid form actually what happens each metal atom gives up its valence electrons we know that valence electrons of any element have less hold of nucleus that's why they give up easily and these electrons no longer belongs to any metal atom they are delocalized delocalized mean move uh, um, they are di- displaced from their specific positions from their valence shells to another space they delocalized they move freely in the space between the metal atoms you can see here that gray balls are metal atoms and when when they will lose electron they will gain positive charge and become positive ions because these are metals and they have tendency to le- to lose electrons when they their valence shell electrons will be will be removed from their uh, outer shell and they will lose from their outer shell they become delocalized and uh, they will start to move the spaces between the metal ions and that's why these they call free or mobile electrons while mean has showing movement rapidly moving and randomly movement so um for next heading is formation of metallic bond in case of metals the hold of nucleus over the outermost shell is weak because of large size atoms and greater number of shells 
reaction between nucleus and valence shell electrons first reason is that what uh, the cause of uh, greater size and more number of shells we know that and more number of inner shells and greater size it causes the more shielding effect and uh, the more shielding effect will be responsible the weak hold of nucleus on the outer shell and the outer shell can be removed easily that's why the first reason and uh, second reason there is the subheading hold of nucleus over the outermost electrons main heading is formation of metallic bond and subheading is hold of nucleus over the outermost electrons and it is starting from here in case of metals the hold of nucleus over the outermost electron is weak because of large size atoms and greater number of shells in between nucleus and valence electrons furthermore because of low ionization potential metal has a tendency to lose their outermost electron easily uh, we also know that there are electropositive elements and uh, they ionize easily that's why they have low ionization potential the capacity and the ability to ionize the metal atom is low or less which means we can easily ionize and we can easily remove electrons from the ionize uh, from the metal atoms metal has a tendency to lose their most uh, most electron easily resultantly they lose or free electrons of all atoms move freely in the space between atoms of a metal second subheading is movement of free electrons or mobile electrons which is starting from here these loose or free electrons of all metals move freely in the spaces between atoms of a metal none of these electron is attached to any particular atom it's mean when all the metal atoms you can see here here is an example of sodium metal in the sodium atom all we know that all atom have one electron in the sodium metal sodium metal composed of sodium atoms and sodium atoms have one electron in their outer shell and when they will remove lose one electron from their outer most shell it will become it will change into positive ions and the removed electrons will move will go to the spaces between the metal atoms which are now become metal ions spaces between the metal atoms and move freely here and now when they move they become decal uh, now they are become delocalized and uh, you can see here there is two type of uh, two type of uh, atom ions or electrons first delocalized valence electrons which are moving now freely in the spaces between the atoms after removing from valence shell and after losing from valence shell uh, and uh, second one positively charged ions held in a rigid lattice which mean the positive charge ions uh, they are ha they have fixed position they have fixed arrangement between in a metal all the atoms in a metal arrange in a fixed positions in lattice lattice form and uh, the uh, when they remove electron they become positively charged and the removed electron will move freely in the spaces between the atoms and these freely moving electron will be the responsible for the metallic bonding we, they will be responsible a force of attraction which present between all the positively charged ions metal ions or freely or mobile electrons present between the between the spaces of the metal ions because electrons carry negative charge and after removing electron ions carry positive charge so these positive and negative charge will form a special type of bonding which is called metallic bonding so here is another example you can see here that for example a is the metal any metal and when it will lose electron it will gain positive charge 
and uh, these electrons which are removed from water shell now move between the spaces between the metal atoms that's why they move because they move freely that's why they call mobile electrons and these due to these freely or mobile electrons metal can conduct heat and electricity and show the conductivity uh, conductivity because these moving electrons are responsible to carry heat and electricity from one point of metal to the other point of metal so the property of metals to conduct heat and electricity is due to mobile or free electrons and uh, next uh, sodium and magnesium and aluminium we can see here that sodium belongs to first group magnesium to belongs to second group and aluminium belongs to third group both have one two and three electrons in their outer shell and when sodium atom will lose one electron from the outer shell it will gain uh, plus one charge when magnesium will because magnesium has two electrons in its outer shell when it will lose two electrons it will gain plus two charges and there are plus three charges when aluminium remove and lose three electrons from its outer shell it will gain plus three charge because it belongs to third group and it have three electrons and these three electrons when when removed by aluminium and two electrons removed by magnesium and sodium one electron removed these removed electrons now become delocalized first when they present in outer shell they were localized because they belongs to a specific atoms but when they removed by their atoms now these electrons become delocalized and uh, mobile electrons and freely moving electrons and all these freely moving electrons become a c you can see here it is the example of copper wire copper uh, at co copper metal wire in which all the metal ions of copper or mobile freely move electrons or mobile electrons are shown and all these valence cell electrons you can see that do, doesn't have any specific and doesn't belongs to any specific metal line but they are moving freely between the spaces of the atoms and form a pool or C C of electrons we can say that C of electrons in which metal ions are submerged and these C of electron or pool of electron will cause the metallic bonding will cause the metal atoms to be more strongly attached with each other and uh, that's the reason it has it also it uh, metal atoms have high melting and boiling point because of force of attraction and strong force of attraction exist between metal atoms and freely moving electrons so this is a long question ending here and it will start from the it has three paragraphs first paragraph this one after that second para paragraph formation of metallic bond which has uh, two subheadings first of hold of nucleus over the outermost electrons second headings mobile or free electrons and uh, it will tell uh, it will second heading subheading will start from the these loose or free electrons and it will be end the mobile electrons are responsible for holding the atom of matter together forming a metallic bond till here so today's diary is you have to learn long question 7 along with second 6 short questions from test yourself 4.2 okay till then allah peace have a good day